Hello and welcome to this product walkthrough of a Stripe entity connected to Sift Analytics. My name is Vangelis Kirazis and I'm one of the co-founders here at the business. In this video, we'll look specifically at a Stripe entity with customer and product data connected to Sift. We have a separate product walkthrough for Stripe subscription businesses that make use of the billing engine in Stripe. For this video, we'll focus on some of the customer visualizations and product analytics available for your entity. Once you've connected your Stripe entity to Sift, you'll see that data is refreshed every 24 hours, or you can click refresh data and manually pull the latest data through. Chat to our team if you require data refreshes on a more often basis than every 24 hours. We've landed in the dashboard of Sift. I've actually customized this dashboard to have a variety of customer and product metrics. I've chosen three customer graphs and I've chosen three product graphs out of the available 28 uh, graphs available to the dashboard. Things like customer sales, growth in customer sales, median customer sales, product sales, unique product sold, whatever makes sense for your Stripe business from a customer and product perspective can be added to this dashboard and altered whether it's a line graph or a bar chart, you can really customize the way it shows in the dashboard um, to help you get the best data at a single glance and in a single view. From here, I'm diving into the more specific graphs where we'll only see one graph on screen. First up is customer sales. I can actually zero in on specific customers to focus on how their sales have trended over time. And instead of looking at just total sales, I can look at growth in sales, percentage growths, median customer spend, discounts, refunds, in a visualization that helps us see things like trend and seasonality. The customer sales graph, that second tab at the, the top of the screen there, will allow me to see my customer sales as a percentage then of revenue, who are my biggest customers, my top 10, all of my customers, and compare them to prior periods. If I need data for other periods, use that top selector in the top navigation bar. So I've now gone back to November and I've got a little bit more customer data to look at. Over to customer activity. Active customers refers to customers invoiced in a given period. Customer retention is based on invoicing a customer in one period and also having invoiced them in a previous period. And am I adding new customers to my business? Is my business growing? Is there any seasonality in my business that I need to account for? If you sell products in your business, now these can be physical or intangible. Um, on the physical side, might be a little bit of a bigger requirement for analytics, whether you need to hold stock, whether a specific product is moving, whether a product is perishable and may need to be sold in a specific time. The product sales graphs will help you identify trends in your overall product base as well as by specific products. You can customize the metrics seen on screen for the, the product graph, and you can see which are the top products uh, in your Stripe entity. What are you selling the most of, uh, and how does that correlate to the total percentage of products sold that's actually by revenue? If the visualizations are great, you've identified some trend and seasonality, but you perhaps need a little bit more in terms of um, data across your entire customer base or product base, head over into Analyze Invoices. Yeah, you'll be able to see all of your data by customer for the period. You can also start to tag this data. Perhaps you can use tags for regions or cities or uh, specific customer verticals that you sell to, and then you can segment by tag. So you can start to focus on just customers in a city or customers in a specific vertical. You can also see how customers have trended over time using multi-period, and you can apply the same functionality to your products. Which products have I sold in the period? How many, how many do I have on hand? And what are happening with my product sales over time in a tabular format? Great to push this data to PDF 
or probably even to Excel so that you can do some more calculations and some work on it. Now everything in SIFT can be taken and combined into a report pack. You may have various stakeholders in your business and you might want to generate a PDF or Excel report for them and share it with them. Our favorite is actually taking this data, combining it into a report pack and creating a hosted URL called Live View. This is a collaborative and interactive space where you can look at your data, comment on your data, and really drill into the numbers that make sense for your business. Commentary is available, and this commentary enables you not just to type text-based comments, but also upload external files, images, and video into the hosted URL that might add some color to the stakeholders you've shared the report pack with. Last but not least, SIFT's pricing is affordable for any business, starting from 19 US dollars per month per entity and scaling up to 79 US dollars, depending on the features and functionality you require for your Stripe entity. Thanks for watching. If you need some more subscription metrics, check out our other product walkthrough, and we hope you get lots of value and insights from SIFT. Keep well.